What's up? What's up? What's going on, guys? It's your host, Invisible DFS. Let's talk NBA DFS for DraftKings and FanDuel, December 20th, 2019. All right. As I do, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys the lineup from each site. So let's go ahead and check some lineups out. Okay, guys. So let's check DK. Uh, DK. Okay, so I end up leaving Chandler on my lineup. Of course, he didn't play enough. Uh, he did bad. So I end up, I think I changed it. I think I have two different lineup version of that. So, but this lineup I have has 199. Uh, right now, this is the guy that let me down. Paul, I mean Woody Gay. Not only in FD. I mean not only in DK, also in FD. You guys gonna see what he did to me in FD. All right. So. Anyway, so yeah, uh, and this lineup actually not bad. Uh, of course, the last guy I have, you know, take a chance on him, but oh, not not a bad start, 5.75. So not bad at all. But when LeBron James, I went Giannis and Davis, all of them came to LeBron James had a triple double, but they lost the game. Uh, Reddish did okay, uh, no complaint there. Davis. But I went with Bruno. That was a bad play. But the price, I mean, much better than. Uh, anyway, Derek White did good for me. Uh, 31.25. Chandler. Oh, I have Chandler here too. Okay. <laughs> so I also have Chandler here. He does bad. He did bad here too. So uh, House, 5.75. So hoping he can do a little bit of something. Uh, I'm surprised I didn't even think he would be that high on, but 12.77 in the last game. All right, so uh, as far as my picks, guys, you guys know I had uh, Spencer Dinwiddie, Lou Williams. Uh, of course, I had uh, Chandler. Uh, actually, Lopez came too. Lopez didn't do too bad. Lopez had 31, so not bad. Uh, Paul George, and yeah, so Paul George was my star, so six so far. All right, so... Uh, basically, uh, Chandler is the only one, so I wasn't sure on him. I say so. If you guys didn't play him, that's really, really good. As far as FD, uh, let's go ahead and check the winning lineup real quick. So the winning lineup: 369, G here, 25.1. Uh, Young, I didn't play him, but I did like him. Man, Green did really good. Green, 27, 28. Uh, Tempo 22. Tempo had a great first half, 18. So he didn't really do much at all in the second half. But still in the winning lineup as of now. Probably not going to stay, but as of now. This guy right here was one of my players in my... Uh, yeah, that definitely was one of my players right here. Allen, 47.6. Man, that guy has been balling. So hopefully you guys play him. Lopez actually end up did really good. All right. So me, I had Gobert. Uh, Alich is doing really good. So this guy picked up two fouls in the first minute of the game. That's why he destroyed me. All right. Two fouls in the first two minutes of the game. Aldrich, I was high on him because of his price. He's doing his things. Did really good. So, uh I don't know if this lineup gonna end up uh, staying in the money, but I'm hoping that's the case here. All right, so if you can just stay there, right now it's 14, so can go down to 12. Definitely gonna go down, but I just hope you can stay there. Uh, as far as my other lineups, I have this one right here. Oh, man, look at this. And so I have Lou Williams. Okay, this lineup was basically experiment, guys. Uh, here. <laughs> I, I went with Brown. Everything told me to go with <sighs> Matthews. He has 27 fantasy points. That's basically 19 something. He has 27.3 or 7 or something like that. Man, that's 19 points would have been. And I still got Lou Williams to go. All right. Lou Williams is 40%. Yeah, I know he was going to be high because of that price. So this lineup should cash. But, yeah, like I was saying, that's my experiment lineup. I went with Davis, James, Giannis, Gobert. All right. 
Here I had uh, Erson. I changed him once I got discipline that was starting. But basically that was a mistake. I should have just left Erson. I do have the same version with Erson in uh, a five cents. So I got to check this one out later. So I'm hoping the Williams can go off today. Right now they're going to need the scoring because Houston is double up the score right now. All right. So this lineup and another lineup is this one. Every lineup basically. Look at this guy. Gay. 6.8, man. 6.8. I had Allen in there. Aldridge in there. 6.8. Okay, so that's basically not a bad lineup, 6.8. The thing about it, even though Gobert has 43, most likely you're gonna need to have somebody else rather than Gobert to win some good money. And I have a lot of Gobert in most of my lineups. So, uh, let's check my last lineup. So let's check this one out. So I have Westbrook, Pat Bev, Wait a second. I just saw six. I just saw eight. Sixteen eight. How they got to seventeen that fast? It's insane. But anyway, so ah, Joe Harris is so bad. All right. So this is a uh, basically stack. So honestly, I'm not counting on that because of the fact that Joe Harris didn't do much at all. So uh, Kawhi. I went with Kawhi, so all right. So basically, that's basically it, guys. And the only other lineup maybe I can go to is this one, and this one are Pat Bev and White. So that's really good. The Rosen let me down. Uh, Paul George 15. That's really good. Angus did okay. So this one I might have a chance to do some damage because I still have a lot of players. I have one, two and three players all right so we'll see what happened uh actually four players and lou williams so we'll see anyway so let's go ahead and check out the 5.5 gain below players all right guys tomorrow slate i'm gonna tell you right now the most popular team gonna be the toronto raptors because they have a lot of players out they have a lot of players out so that team gonna be very very chalk because a lot of players are out so they're gonna be a lot of and the matchup too they are playing the washington wizards because of that reason a lot of people are gonna be playing players on that team and i'm not even gonna lie to you guys i'm gonna stack that team i'm gonna stack that team possibly three times all right so let's go ahead and check start with uh, fd uh pg of uh, I mean that's DK. DK have Burks at 5.4k. Uh, went back to play 30 minutes and had a great fantasy out uh, game last in his last game. So uh, hopefully against Nolan, I can see him go back. So definitely at that price, he's a player I like. So I got him on both sides. So I like him better in uh, FD because he is 5.5k. As far as prices, I like him better in FD. And then uh, another player I like is, I don't know why his price went down, but faults in both sides and even cheaper in FD. So I definitely like him in FD. Uh, played 30 minutes last game and the matchup was Denver. The last two games was Utah and Denver. So it wasn't easy. So I don't know why the price went down, but I will welcome that. All right. So uh, at Portland next game, definitely going to be on him. His minutes are very consistent now and he's playing... 30 minutes so that's good at that price definitely i'm gonna look to play uh usually uh isaiah thomas is not a player i would want to play against the toronto raptors but the fact that a lot of those guys are out so it's not gonna be the same players you know you're not gonna have uh, uh siakam you're not gonna have uh gasol and power all those guys are out so definitely it's not gonna be the same defensive players out there so definitely Tam thomas is the player i'm looking to play harris the main side there so if you're looking for a player that you want that range you can go there uh fournier how do i go with fournier fournier same thing with price went down 
for many reasons. He cannot, you know, with those guys out, I'm talking about Vucevic, he used, used to take more shots, but he cannot do that anymore because Vucevic is back. So, but the price went, also, it, the team he was playing against two, was two defensive juggernaut, two defensive teams. So, I can understand why he went down. He did struggle against New Orleans too, but that was the game when uh, Vucevic came back. But at that point, definitely going to go there against uh, Portland. And uh, another player, I want Markeith Morris. Uh, I don't like him in DK, but definitely in FD. Should get the start again. And he should play a lot of minutes because Blake will be out. And also, let's go, to, and also, let's show you real quick. Uh, Blake will be out and Wood will also be out. So his minute should be there. So at that price, definitely in FD, so I think 5.6K. So definitely, I'm not going there. I might play him in the lineup, but definitely don't want to go there. And uh, I have Boucher, Chris Boucher here, because of the fact that you have... Uh, Gasol out, so he should see some minutes uh, at the five, uh, most likely um, behind Ibaka. Ibaka price went up. Uh, I'm not looking to play Ibaka. All right, Ibaka price went up, so for that reason, I'm not looking to play him. And then you have Millsap. Millsap 4.5 here. I think it's 4.9, 4.6 in DK. So I like him in both sides. So Millsap went. Only play about 20, let's check, 20 some minutes, 25 minutes, and had 30 fantasy points. So, most likely, he might be playing more more minutes in his upcoming game, but it's in Denver against Minnesota, could be a blowout. So, gotta watch out for that. Uh, Mehimi, I put Mehimi in F. I put Mehimi in FT. You can also put the backup center for him because the backup center played 27 minutes last game. All right, so but definitely if you wanna go there, I don't know if it was because of foul or what's the main reason. Let me check how many foul he had in this game. Amy, 24 minutes. Definitely, yeah, they don't have the foul. Uh, so he had 25.7 fantasy points, which wasn't bad, but the fact the other player had 27 minutes, so maybe because they're still trying to get him in a game shape game shape because you know he only been back for about four games now and uh in dk i went with his backup 4.2 19.5 so his uh fantasy points per minute wasn't too good but 27 minutes i'm glad i like that uh he's even cheaper in fd so if you want to go there in fd uh homes had a great great output last game so definitely looking to play him against indiana they likely gonna need them against those two guys in Indiana. All right, 6.10, 5.5. He has been bowling much better this year than he was last year. So uh, a guy I'm looking to play to, as far as uh, players that are 5.5 can below. And the last two other guys is uh, Turner. Hopefully that's what he needed. Uh, turn, he had a great, finally he had a book out game since his first game of the season. So hopefully he can continue that against the Kings. And Chetty, that's a hidden miss, man. You don't never know what you're gonna get with him. So, uh, if you're looking for somebody that cheap, the price is cheap, so you can always take a chance. That's what it's all about when playing G GPP. You know, uh, it's cash is something different. You don't wanna play him in cash, but in GPP, every, mostly everybody's in play, especially somebody that play around 20 minutes and up. So let's go ahead and check out my three star, my three core players, one chip play, and of course the star of the night, the star of the segment, the star of the show. All right, guys. So let's go to FD. My first core player, guys. That's probably easy call. That's gonna be Lowry. Lowry will be my first core player against Washington. They're going to need him to do a lot of scoring tomorrow. Without Siakam, Larry can, probably going to see 40 minutes here and possibly score 30 real points. So, Larry and then definitely playing against a fast-paced team. So, Larry 
going to be a very high on, but it is worth having him in your lineup. So Lowry is my first core player. My second core player, I'm going to go on the same game. If we play that, you guys should know that I like very much. You probably know he was coming. That's OG, all right? OG without uh, power going to see minutes, all right? It's going to see high 30s in minutes. It's guaranteed for sure you're going to see that minute. So OG is my second core player and probably going to need him to do a little bit more scoring too. And as far as my third core player, uh, it's going to be in the last game, all right? So right now I was thinking between Russell and Drew Holiday. Those are the two players I've been thinking that. I'm going back and forth. I decided to go with Drew Holiday here. I decided to go with Drew Holiday as my third core player. All right? I know uh, I need him to get in the 40s here. So Drew Holiday is my third core player against Golden State. He should be able to do this thing and should be able to get some steal. Uh, you know, passing the ball, getting some asses, and uh, do his thing. So Drew Holiday, that's going to be the guy I'm going to go with over uh, Warsaw. And then my cheap play, I'm going to go with Mark Heath here. Mark Heath will be my cheap play. Alright, so I'm going to try not to play. I'm going to try not to play any expensive players. Uh, you know, try to stay. I'm talking about, we don't have anybody that is 11K, which is good, but I'm also going to try to have any 10K players. I'm going to try. Not saying I'm completely but i'm gonna try my best not to play any of them and then as far as my star i'm gonna go with posengis here all right no luca posengis has been the man he has to be posengis against philadelphia hopefully dallas can stay in this game and i think they can because dallas look like they actually could team with or without luca so posengis will be my star so guys uh we have Lowry, Drew Holiday, OG, Markif as my chip play, and Porzingis as my star of the segment. For DK, I'm going to go back to Lowry. All right. Lowry is, so let's go. Lowry will be, I know he's more expensive in DK. I wish he was cheaper, but I'm still going to go with Lowry. And then I'm going to go with Fultz. Wait a second. OG. OG as my second core player. And as far as my third core player, uh, gonna go with Sexton. Sexton. I'm gonna go with Sexton as a core player here against Memphis. I'm gonna see him playing a lot of minutes. I'm gonna go with Sexton. As a core player, six like I said, six has been much better against Cleveland. You're gonna see thirties in minutes against Memphis. I mean, against Memphis, he should be able to do this thing. Hopefully, I can get thirty plus minutes point here. And then as far as my cheap play, I'm going with faults here. Four point nine k. I love that price. So definitely gonna be a guy I'm gonna go with. Uh, we only get. To Toronto guys in both, All right? And as far as master, I'm not gonna go with uh, Porzingis here. All right, I'm gonna go with Engram. I'm gonna go with Engram here, 8.7 against Golden State. I'm hoping he get us 50 plus fantasy points here. Engram will be my star. That man has been bowling. I don't see anybody stopping him here. So basically, it's Kyle Sexton. OG, faults and my star is Engram. That's it, guys. That's basically it. Please remember, like, subscribe, turn on your bell notifications so as soon as I post those videos, you guys can receive them. I appreciate you guys. Good luck. Don't spend money that you guys cannot afford to lose. I'm out. Yeah.